Hey guys, so today I'd like to talk about the whole uh, naming of Lilibet debacle that's going on right now. So it's being reported that the queen didn't really know what that they, that Harry and Meghan were going to name the baby Lilibet and that they were going to name her probably Elizabeth. Um, so my whole thought on this thing is that um, it does sound strange that they would name the baby her nickname. Um, I, I've i never really heard of a baby being named a nickname. Um, I've, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but I've never seen it before. Um, usually they give the formal name to the child. So, um, now I do think that some people do name their child after their grandparent or a parent, and they don't know it until the baby's born. They might say, Hey, we're naming them this, but, um, I've heard that Harry had it done so that it can't be changed but i don't know <laughs> couldn't be changed back after the queen found out so but i don't know how true that was but uh <clears throat> yeah um i've never heard of that but like let me know if y'all if y'all have um it is odd because harry, harry and megan they're always talking about privacy and, uh, but it seems that they're always <laughs> telling everybody else's secrets and things like that. Like I had no idea the queen, queen's nickname was Lilibet. So they brought that out to the public where it was just an insular family thing that they knew. And so I just, I really think that's like kind of hypocritical especially in, in the releasing of text messages of other people. Like, I think it's just really hypocritical. And, um, you know, I, I think South Park making fun of them was kind of like just <laughs> that outward, like, kind of like, uh, y'all are gaslighting everybody. You're like, for real, because first, they left the whole Mexican thing. They left uh, because of privacy. Then that changed to, oh no, it wasn't. We never asked for privacy. We we were forced out. So then it became being forced out. Um, but I I I feel like even that's a charade. I I feel like y'all left. Y'all they told you no, and you guys left. You wanted to do these these deals with Netflix and Spotify, and they said no, right? So you made a decision to leave. But <laughs> instead of taking responsibility and saying, yeah, we, we decided to leave, they tried to blame everybody else, with, which I don't think is fair because they have a right to tell you no. Uh, <laughs> When you are a part of a kingdom, you kind of have to do what they say. So, um, I guess they don't, they didn't get the memo, but <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I want to ask you guys, do you guys believe that they actually told the queen, Hey, we're naming her Lilibet, or do you guys think that they left that out? I'm thinking they left left it out because every it's like every time they have a story, it's like the story always changes. Remember the the family was racist. Remember that, but then it changed. No, they're not racist. They're, did, did did Megan say? Did Megan say that they that they're racist? <laughs> uh, she kind of like implied it to the point where Oprah had her hands up like this, like. Uh, yeah, like, 
it's like it's that gaslighting. That's why when they tell something, like I don't believe it. Remember the catastrophic car chase in New York? Remember that? Like, it's like, guys, come on. Y'all, Amer they might think Americans are dumb, but like, once we know the truth, oh, they wouldn't make Archie a prince. Well, it wasn't the rules at the time to make him a prince. But it's like, once we know we can't trust you, it's like, it's hard to get that trust back. So, yeah, um, it's it's just sad, you know. I, I feel like with them naming the, the child Lilibet, they wanted to make it seem like, oh, we're so close to the queen. Look how close we are. When, like, y'all left the whole country. You, you weren't even in the territories of that kingdom. Like, <laughs> it's just like, that's why it's the, the constant charade, the gaslighting, the changing of the stories. It's like, y'all, y'all don't come off believable. Like, I don't know if y'all know that or not, or if y'all are still living in this fantasy that I can just say whatever. And if anybody disagrees, uh, I don't believe in free speech. It's like, if anybody asks a question or doubts what you say, they're immediately, uh, they're, they're a racist or something. No, I don't think that's it. I think that y'all, give two stories y'all y'all backtrack all the time and it's like just stop but let me know what y'all what you all think about this um in the comments down below if you like this type of content subscribe and like all right see you next time